first of all, it's quite moving that we're here actually in Richmond Barracks, in the room where the court martial happened for Captain Bowen Colthurst. And this is Hannah, my grandmother, Hannah Sheehy Skeffington, coming to that court martial because her husband, Francis Sheehy Skeffington, had been executed without trial, in other words, murdered, um, in uh, Portobello Barracks, which is Cahal Brewer Barracks now. And he had taken my grandfather out on a patrol. My grandfather had been arrested without charge and he was taken out on patrol and he witnessed the murder of a young boy, JJ Code. And Captain Bowen Colthurst was in charge and I thought, right, this man is a pacifist. My grandfather was an outspoken pacifist. He's witnessed the murder of a boy, which he, Frank, my grandfather, protested. I have to do something about it. And basically he took Frank out the next morning and had him executed. He hadn't permission to take him on the patrol. He hadn't permission to, put, to, to leave him in the cells because there was no charge. He certainly had no permission to take him out of the cells and ex execute him with two other journalists, which I think is interesting because they had done nothing. They were just held in the cells because they'd been taken in on a raid, Thomas Dixon and Patrick McIntyre. So Captain Bolkonthers continued in, uh, to, to be actually he was promoted throughout in Dublin and he killed uh, Councillor Richard O'Carroll or shot him and left him for dead so he wasn't arrested for about t two weeks and finally he was arrested and this is f the final court martial where they finally said right well let's let's have a hearing um, Hannah's here with her sister Kathleen her sister Mary and we think this is Meg Connery who was a, a fellow suffragist suffragette Hannah and Meg Connery in particular had been to prison themselves for suffrage activities. So they're turning up at Richmond Barracks for this court martial, um, which was very grueling. Obviously, this is only a few months after 1916 and the murder of Frank. And Hannah uh, d was disgusted with the verdict because he was sentenced guilty but insane. And she said, that man was not insane. He had taken out Sheehy Skeffington and he was uh, uh, on a patrol. He had witnessed the murder of a young man. He was then taken in and then overnight Coulter's reasoned, and that is the, the real word, that this man is a pacifist, he's a journalist, he's outspoken. I have to do something about it, I have to get rid of him. That man's not insane. And then taking two other journalists who might have witnessed this. So she was disgusted and not, not least because actually Coulter's was sentenced in, in 1916, he was released within less than two years in, in early 1918 he was released and he went to British Columbia so you know it was a difficult time for Hannah obviously going through this and eventually she went to Asquith in London and asked for a full inquiry because she f found this as a travesty and Asquith said no but I can offer you ten thousand pounds and that's the equivalent of about three quarter million euro today she didn't hear the money she said I want the truth 